guys, welcome back. This is your boy Adam Slink. How you guys doing? Welcome to another freaky video. Please try as much as possible, guys, as usual. So put your boy like this video, comment, share it all. Show the platform, follow me on Instagram, Twitter, Facebook, Adam Slink. And make sure you subscribe and uh, click the bell notification to get updates anytime, any day I upload. Also, good morning, good afternoon, good evening, depending on where you are watching this video from. So uh we we're, we're gonna be discussing about theory major issues in Nigeria that merely has to do with relationship in fact i've said it before i'm tired of talking about relationship 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 and uh, i'm going to be looking at Tonto Dike's newly leaked audio apologizing or begging a his boyfriend Bupugiri. <laughs> and also we are also going to be looking at uh, Tega who recently apologized to Nigerians and to her husband why she was crying and also we got we're going to be looking at uh, Nigerian popular comedian Nedu versus his ex-wife so firstly I'm going to go over straight to Tuntu Diki honestly without discrimination I am listening to two audio allegedly leaked by someone close to Tutu Dike. One is a audio of her vowing that she will deal severely with her ex husband church ape. And another is her begging, crying and apologizing to her recent ex boyfriend Popogiri to forgive her after she apparently cheated on Bobogiri. Well, which one am I going to play first? I think I should play the one uh, that will release of her, you know, categorically stating that uh, she's going to deal with church ill. This one was released by Sahara Reporters. If church slapped me once, I slapped him ten times before the second slap landed. He did not know what was hitting him. If he hit me, bro, I yeah. If anything, if I just see one breaking blood on my body, I'm burning down his whole clothes. And you know he like to buy designer. I burn down the whole clothes, burn down everything, carry on his justin, throw on the floor. In fact, there's a time I locked him outside. I put his things outside, snapped his the, the clothes outside, no box, something I threw it outside in front of my house. Pour ketchup cold, I snap it, I sent to all his family. I said, tell your son to come and pick his things because he's not entering his house again. That day he didn't sleep at home. His mother beg. Yes, you're a madman. That's my father. So you're a madman. You mean that you lock him out outside the house and all the family members are begging you like you are ghosts? I said, Daddy, you don't understand. This was, I see it. If I was still with Churchy till today, Churchy would have died. I'll give you my poison. Simple as that. And I would not have any, not, not one bad thing, as in uh, feeling bad, guilty. No guilt. I will walk away with, oh, I'm a widow. Because it was better that I became a widow than all this kind of back and forth, back and forth, back and forth. She, she like hated that guy that much. And uh, I do not know who is revealing or who is exposing her. But honestly, if you listen to that audio, you absolutely, I am really, really sure that's, that's actually Tonto DK's voice. Let us be completely honest. And that's not just only that, that is just for her ex-husband alone. She said she would have poisoned, she would have given him rat poison. That is better, that is better that uh, the man just go than her being in the marriage. That she'd rather be a widow. That is better off. <laughs> what amount of hatred, what amount of, this, like, what amount of fight, hatred. That would happen that you will that you will wish that you are a widow rather than being with a man. Crazy. And uh, not only that, guys, you see a lot of things, a lot of things that are similar that we cannot confirm and say, oh, she actually did that, she actually did this, she actually did that. That Churchy wasn't lying. Churchy wasn't lying as uh, when he, he, he said that uh to disrespect her. Is um, countlessly. 
He wasn't lying. Well, there are more though. And uh, this next one is, uh, I don't know, I think I should play, I should talk about Tega's own before coming over again to Tundo DK's new audio that was recently, as at uh, yesterday night, revealed, exposed by unknown person. We do not know if he's actually Prince or Bobogiri or there's somebody else who is. We do not know who is actually exposing these audios. Well, before I go there, let's talk about Ted and Baby Niger. But just stay tuned, though. We are, I'm, uh, we are still going to talk about Tundo DK with the recent audio with his recent uh, newly has boyfriend. And uh, let's talk about Tega. Tega has apologized. In fact, she cried about it. And uh, <laughs> I do not know what uh, you guys are going to do, but I really think that Tega do not hold any anyone any kind of a form of explanation i think the person she needs to call is her husband why is she always apologizing to nigerians so as had yesterday she deleted restructured her instagram account and that she deleted every pictures that has, that has to do with baby ninja and she posted just one video in fact I think we should listen to what she has to say in that video. She was allegedly crying, apologizing. She has been neck breaking. Like, every time I get to speak about that topic, it's, it re like, rips me off. I'm out of the show now. The show has ended for me. But a lot of things are still going on. And it's really taking it for me. I have been this kind of person who when anything happens I I just like to take it on a lighter note so I don't get mentally frustrated and maybe get into depression or something. I just like to, sometimes I turn it into a joke. I make it seem very light. People take things differently. I've been emotionally broken for the past two days and it feels like it feels like almost a year I'm really sorry too Those who to everyone who feels disappointed by my actions. I'm sorry. So I'm sorry to my supporters. I I want to apologize openly to my husband. It's been hard. My life is taking a new turn and I'm not meant to be okay. Please guys, sorry. And at this phase of my life, I, I need all the love I can get. I want to beg every one of you, please. Don't drag my son into this place. Please. 
please. And my husband, he didn't do anything wrong. He just, just supported his wife. I'm begging I apologize and I take responsibility for my actions I can't let this moment go down the drain because if I'm not mentally okay then nothing is really going to work I'm sorry Please. all I need right now is your love support and prayers pray for me Ada is tiger she is crying so i think uh is it a bad time for us to forgive her well she, honestly speaking she doesn't hold us any explanation let's not be completely honest with that the person that i think she holds any explanation to is uh her son and her husband and her immediate family but though, because of the fame and that because of the support that she needs, of course, definitely, she owes a lot of her, of her fans explanation. Good and fine. But me, myself, she doesn't owe me any kind of explanation. Because uh, I wish I, we all wish I was the best. Come on, man. But she said her husband didn't do nothing. That her husband was just only really supporting her. And surprisingly, guys, things turned out right. Her husband visited her. That's her husband. They hugged and it seems like everything will be okay or things will be getting better for her now. But the fact is that do you guys buy that apology? Was it that she was about to step out to somewhere? So she just decided to do that video because I'm not understanding the makeup. That's one thing. I'm not understanding the makeup. Where someone will stand up, make up, and just to cry, just to be, you know, with that makeup being involved, I kind of like feel some uh, kind of way, oh, she's just doing it because of the support and also on and so forth. Well, whatever she's doing it for, the bottom line is the question is, are you guys buying it? Do you actually buy that apology that she just rendered? Hmm? And her husband is cool with it. Her husband is cool. So if her husband is cool, good and fine. You know her husband already did an interview that he said categorically that he has not met Tekka. He did an interview with uh, Today and Not. He did an interview and uh, he said he has not met Tekka, that he wants Tekka back. He doesn't want Tekka in Baby Ninja, that he wants Tekka, his wife, back. So, talking about Buma, Buma also apologized. They were carried away. <laughs> they thought that it, it, it was going to favor them. But honestly speaking, they never knew that they were just doing it wrong. Well, guys, let's move past that from uh, from Tega. And uh, let's also go back to Tundu Tiki. And uh, let's uh, listen to the audio where apparently, you know, Obogiri recently revealed that Tonto DK also cheated on him. That why Tonto DK cheated on him, that Tonto DK apologized to him and threatened to commit uh, to end her life. And a lot of us saw it as a joke. We thought, well, well what is he saying? It's a big joke. He just tried to, uh, to like, uh, he's just trying to paint himself to be this good picture. Well, surprisingly, our audio was recently also revealed. We do not know. We we do not know who is uh, linking these uh, videos, but uh, I think uh, it seems like a lot of you guys are liking this uh, link. So, guys, uh, let's listen to what she said. Please, if I beg you like this to be with me, how much more do I need to keep begging you? I'm so exhausted. I'm so exhausted, please. So why, so why did you think work, working away will not give me more peace? Because I can give you peace. 
No, you can't. I can't. I can't. No, we didn't try. We didn't try. We didn't try. See, let me tell you. Huh? From day one, it was not even up to two weeks. We started having crisis. Don't you see it yourself? A relationship that is not up to three months. It does not. You see the crisis. It does not. Ah. See me, eh? It's like you don't know me. I'm a very peaceful person. Anything that would threaten my peace, I'll just run away. I, I told you right from day one. Okay. I told you right from day one that, babe, please, oh, <laughs> I'm a very peaceful person. I've been just using that word. If I see that my peace will be threatened, I'll just run away. I'll just run away. Even as it is now, my auntie will tell me, oh, uh, let your, we, we, we don't have anybody here. The family knows you. They don't have anybody here in Abuja. I'm the only family they have in Abuja. Just like all those ones came this morning. You know, I cannot even bring my, my cousin to come and stay with me. My wife, see, they want to do, do something. Because, yeah. because somebody will come and tell you, oh, now Prince girlfriend, no. The next thing, every, every, everywhere will start catching fire. Somebody will come and tell you, oh, this one and this, oh, this one and this. So, please, I just, I just want that peace so that anybody that comes around me can be happy, you know, so that, you know, the, see, where is Captain, where, where, where is Captain Nessa today? Where is Captain Nessa with all the money? <laughs> you know, so I don't want, I don't want to die young. Anything that will break or destroy my peace, I don't want it. You don't need to cry because you caused all these things <laughs> that are happening. I told you right from day one. <laughs> if I did, if I didn't tell you, that would be a different thing. I told you. Came to your room two thirty in the morning. Early in the morning, he told you, "I'm, I'm, I'm at your, I'm at your door." There was no communication again till six minutes past eight in the morning, and you are and you are asking me to think. Otherwise, slept in my room. Would I be saying good morning by eight o'clock if he slept in my room? He's the one who says good morning. You say what a night. Yeah. So if he said good morning, would he be saying it when he slept in my room? He cannot sleep in your room. Prince. Some people can just come and spend Prince. time and just go. Prince. I've told you the truth. That is not the truth. I have told you the truth. Because if you wanted to... I have told you my truth. I because have told you my truth. If Nothing happened. But if you want to do this your way... God... If you told me your truth, why do you delete your messages? Because I was scared. Because I was scared. Because I was so scared. I didn't know how to explain it to you. Someday you'll come on the trip. Maybe not today. Maybe not tomorrow. Maybe you never get to find, find out the truth, but someday you're going to know the truth. And I pray, I pray that God is going to keep you alive to know the truth. Because Stand to blame you, and if you cannot take me back, I swear, 
I don't know how to convince you, but please, I'm just going to beg you to take care of my son for me. Just please, just take care of my son for me. That's all I'm going to beg you to do. Please, please just do this one thing for me. Don't let his father come close to him. Just take him like your own. Please, do everything that you can. Do everything you can to please raise him like your own. That's all I'm going to say to you. I'm tired. My heart is tired. My whole being is tired. Since I walked into your door, I've been made to feel like I'm nobody. I am somebody. I am somebody. I'm a human being. And because I love you so much, it doesn't make me less a human being. You said we should talk. So why are you walking away from the conversation? So where are you going? If, if he doesn't want the conversation, then then why did you come? See your earpod. You're going to hear about me. That's all I'm going to say. You're really going to hear about me. How? See, let me tell you something. Eh? This thing that you are trying to do is what we call blackmail. I'm not blackmailing you. I'm not. So I'm, I'm tired of life already. It's not about you. You know. It's not about you. So I'm not blackmailing you. So I, I can't blackmail you. You told my friends that even if I was going to die, I can die. So why would I use blackmail for you? You sent me a message already. I, I can't do that. I just want to tell you the truth. So so you it's think so you think let me tell you, if I wanted to have given you a second chance because of the way you acted now, I won't do that. I won't do that okay. because because I'm seeing it now that you are blackmailing me with suicide. It's okay. No, I'm not. But it's okay. That is what you are doing now. No, so, friend, okay. so what is the essence of telling me? Okay. So what is what what is the essence of you telling me that I should take care of King? I should not allow the father to come close if to him. Happens, just tell me, take care of him. That's what I'm saying. I'm not telling you. So what did you think that statement means? So you want to go and kill yourself? Yeah, go and kill yourself now. Ah, that's quite unfortunate. I know that's really, really long, and uh, some of you may have listened to it. Well, ah, uh, <laughs> my person more than I think the cash cross like this up. Firstly, without uh, being discriminated, like just trying to kick his side, honestly. This is not fair on to, to take his side. Despite if she is a problem or if she if she is so hard to work with when it comes to relationship, but honestly, this is not fair to her. Or people releasing this kind of stuff is not fair. It's not. It's really not fair. Relationship is not by force, and we already know that that part where. When uh, you want to break up and uh, your spouse will be threatening you with uh, some kind of uh, do not end their life, all this kind of emotional blackmail. We, we, some of you have already gone through that. So you so say, I can't live with that, you should leave me, all this kind of stuff. But honestly, she's a woman and it is not fair to her. It's not fair to her. And according to Prince, it seems like uh, someone visited Toto Dicky at night. Someone, according to princes, accusing her of sleeping with someone. And Toto Dike is telling him that nothing happened. Prince asks him, then why did you delete those messages? She said she was afraid. Well, can you comment below, guys? Let me know exactly how you feel about it. I know some people will say, oh, that, well, definitely, guys, with all those kind of things that are going on now, I don't understand why she keeps, she wants to make sure 
that church hill do not see their son i don't know why why what has church hill really done to her because church hill has been relatively really really quiet let us be completely honest church hill has been really really quiet so who is blackmailing who now who is who are who like should we have sympathy towards her to the decay because she's the one doing the most of the crying or should we have sympathy towards church hill and uh Bupogiri? you know you already know a woman will get the most sympathy because she is definitely doing the most of the crime you know when they cry is that's all whatever you are saying is rubbish and uh according to what to said anyway after the audio was released this is what she, she wrote she said my dearest fam the illegal recorded and leaked voice recording of a private conversation by prince Upugiri making rounds was in the past and has absolutely nothing to do with the reset appreciate your sincere concern i am doing perfectly okay and in one piece be rest assured that every blackmailer will be brought to justice to justice is the law and i am at peace knowing the law will take its course like i always say the only valid conversation is congratulations because jesus saved me thank for all your concerns and love <laughs> that's so coming from total decay again and uh at, at least she never denied it though she said yeah that, that definitely yeah but but the one that she said that uh she might want to give a uh, rat poison rat to her poison to to church ill all those kind of stuff but she never denied it so what's going to happen now what's going to happen now if it was in a perfect country uh, he, he, if church decided to take this matter up huh church might just decide to just take that particular audio of her saying that she intended to do such thing to him take it to court and then you will know it he might get the full custody of their son because that's a threat well guys i have to hang this video another person finding it really really hard with uh his ex-wife is popular Nigerian comedian they do so apparently says why of course you guys know the story says why came out uh accusing him of uh, abandoning their children and uh, that uh, they do beat him while they were married all those kind of stuff well they do responded said reveal this kind of words said that uh he found out that their first child is not his then this woman came out to address the whole issue. A lot of fans think that she is shameless for even having that audacity to come out to address it. But after I've reasoned the whole issue, I kind of like see reasons. Honestly, you know, I have this soft part towards women. I kind of like see reason to what to what she's trying to say. Well, uh, according to the recent interview she did, she said, My first husband felt insecure and thought our last child wasn't his, but was shocked it was our first child that wasn't. The DNA test was conducted two years after our separation. That is Nedu's ex-wife. Then uh, according to what she just said, or let me just narrate it, explaining why the media personality conducted the test, she said he became insecure and felt the last child was in the East, but was shocked to know that the first child was in the East. She stated that she wasn't seeking sympathy with the call out post she shared on Instagram, alleged that he had a temper and become and became violent one year into their marriage. According to her, she'd been trying for so long to reach out to him to sort out their daughter's bill, but nothing has changed. 
alleging that she had got reports on Nidu's cheating on her, both in the office from mutual friends. She narrated how he allegedly assaulted her in the presence of his mother after accusing her of putting something in its food just after she underwent a CS. She also alleged that even though she tried to protect him over fear of him losing his, his endorsement, he filed a complaint against her, alleging that she is the one assaulting him. On having another child while married to Nidu, she said she was dating another person while the media personality pressed uh, her for a romantic relationship. She says she, uh, she found out that she was pregnant while they were together. And if she knew her first child wasn't his, she wouldn't have gotten married to him. According to her, everybody knew she was pregnant on her wedding day. They do also deny claim, sorry, she also denied claim of her brother-in-law being responsible for the pregnancy and tried to sue Kondendia Osama for the claim. She denied cheated on the do while married to him and also accused him of frustrating all the plans she had to, to work. She had to work. On what led to the breakup of their marriage, she said that they had communication issues and they do had a lot of distraction. She said, she said it was after he left that she started to question who she got married to. Well, uh, to just end the story short, eh? to just keep this woman sh short, simple, take care, of, take care of your two daughters. Take care of your two daughters. Because even if you go to court of law, good and fine, the, the court will definitely tell you to take care of your two daughters. Nidu might be hurt finding out that uh, his first son is not his. Good and fine. Just forget about it. Just the first child. Take care of your daughters. Your daughters are yours. Take care of them. Take care of them. Uh, have an agreement on knowing what uh, you should be bringing and uh, have a relationship with your daughters. Well, thank you very much for watching, guys. Boy, again, Adam Slink. And I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Uh, let me know about your contribution. And peace.